Let's get locked and loaded. It's 3-0 time. We have lots of collectibles to show you, so let's jump right into it. But first news! <laughs> oh, actually we do not have news this week because we hooked you up with a holiday gift guide. That's right. So confused what to get for people for the holidays? Well, guess what? We've got a top five countdown right here on Toy Pizza, which you can go check out right now. Yep. Go check it out on our channel. So, we have tons of 3-0 toys to uh, cover, but... I mean, what is 3-0? What? Yeah, well that was my line, but I, you say it. No, seriously, what is 3-0? For, for the folks at home, 3A, 3-0, what does so, it all mean? I'm so confused. What the heck? Well, Explain it. 3A are 3-0 plus Ashwood. 3-0 are the manufacturing side of 3A. Oh, uh, okay. So, these are the guys that are there in the factory, and they are making sure everything looks to spec, and... Uh, that they're outputting amazing toys. Yeah, I mean, 3-0 has a ton of properties, both in television, film, and also video games. That's right. They're they're going to have a huge year in 2015, and, uh, you know, they are really becoming the premier 1-6 scale manufacturer for yeah. all these great properties. You know, we got Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. We got Game of Thrones. Tyrion Lannister up for pre-order now, I think. Right? That's right. Yeah. Uh, no, shipping soon. Oh, shipping soon! Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, ship is sailing. Ship is sailing. Um, shipping and soon. they do have, you know, they wanted us to tell you guys that they do have a ton more Walking Dead figures coming out soon. Oh. And uh, right now they're perfecting Rick. Rick so Grimes. Very soon we're gonna see Mr. Grimes. Mr. Sheriff. Uh, for the holidays, I just watched Love Actually, and he is in that film. That is one of the worst movies uh, on the face of the planet. That's not true. I think we have to leave now. <laughs> Both Kate and I have to exit. <laughs> It's good. <laughs> it's a good film. Um, so what are we featuring first? You know, what are we going to talk about? Uh, We've got what, a couple of things uh, here. I had first heard about 3-0 in this magazine I got back in 2002. Mm -hmm. They were basically partnering with different artists like Jason Sue and mm -hmm. Alfonso Lamb. And, you know, it was in this, this uh, awesome collection of all these great Japanese and Chinese mm -hmm. and uh, Asian toys that I saw some of their work. And it was really like influenced by street culture more than, yeah. you know, uh, licensed properties. Yeah, what's really cool about it, it's just almost like regular people. And yeah. just like, you can just tell just from their clothing and stuff like that. And I just have a big fan of like any of the camo, like all their jackets and stuff like that. And you can see that uh, through a lot of the uh, 3A figures. But yeah, 3-0 just definitely knows like, you know, quality and details. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I for one am really glad they are taking on so much licensed product and they're really like just making things that are seemingly impossible this titanfall which we'll cover in a little bit it is a it's a miracle like there's so many moving parts there's so many paint apps there's so many separate plastic pieces and they make it all work it's really ingenious they they are they are the best toy engineers on the planet well if you love them so much why don't you marry them well they're so far away that's the only problem. <laughs> Long distance relationships are complicated. They really are. So who do you want to cover first? Well, why don't we talk about your favorite. Okay, fine. Here Little Miss Ruby. Now, Ruby. you are currently watching Toy Pizza on YouTube, right? And one of the biggest YouTube channels currently is uh, Rooster Teeth. Rooster that's Teeth, right. that's right. They've been around for a long time here on YouTube. Uh, like most good things, they're from Texas, based in Austin, Texas. Um, and they uh, they got pretty popular with the series called Red vs. Blue. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, you Halo. know, Halo, right, correct. Right. So that's kind of how they got popular. Now they're uh, breaking more into the animation scene. Um, now on their second season of this anime-inspired show, Ruby. Yeah, and I got to say that uh, anybody, uh, for you guys uh, watching right now, a lot of you were interested, you know, let us know, like, oh my god, you're, do you're doing Ruby? And this is definitely one of the better Ruby collectibles that I've seen. Definitely check it out. Uh, the first episode is 17 minutes long. Great animation style. I loved it. And basically you have this character, the main character, and her name is Ruby. And now, she... she's sassy. She's not just your average female protagonist. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. What Jesse's holding is just this weapon. And just like when you introduce this character, she's just like ignoring everyone, listening mm -hmm. to headphones. And then, bam, fight ensues. And then this weapon is so sick. It's the sight. Very and, cool. uh Because like I guess the animation and the transformation of this weapon just probably is impossible it's physically yet. impossible <laughs> it's physically impossible okay so basically she has this awesome gun that transforms into a giant scythe mm -hmm. and you know the, it looks great isn't uh, it just pronounced scythe no it's no, it that's scythe. Gundam style yeah yeah that's no, what I'm saying okay. Oh, okay yeah so check this out you know you Checking have literally 
know, two pieces for the guns, and there's also different uh, pieces that you can put in there for te uh, now, temporarily. Now, it is worth noting that this is a very, very early hand sample. Yes. So the final one will have much tighter garments. Yeah. Uh, the joints will be production quality, so they won't be quite so loose. Um, this is, you know, they sent this to this months in advance so that we could kind of do some photography with it, but it is not indicative of what will be on store shelves. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, just like, you know, you see Ruby, you know, she's this little girl and she just has such an oversized weapon. She's sassy. She's, okay, yeah. What hooked me on the show was that that weapon transformation. Just immediately seeing that, I'm just like, well, I can get into this. It's a sassy weapon. That's a sassy sight. What was I gonna say about uh, Ruby? Um... That they the, rip off Cowboy Bebop the movie when she's in the store with her headphones on? Really? So basically, you know, with alongside Ruby, there will be other uh, characters from the uh, the show. And again, Katie had mentioned that there is uh, season two. And uh, you know, she comes with uh, an alternate cloak, you know, a much longer one. And, uh, you know, she... Plenty she has, of different hands to grip yeah. all the weapons. And uh, also just like, the, again, 3-0, man. They just, all the, you know, real cloth. And just even just because... It is a very uh, specific animation style. They nailed it. Like her face just looks just like Ruby. That's what it's with the a eyes beautiful. Yeah. You know, not only three zero on top of their game when it comes to traditional media like Game of Thrones, and Titanfall, and mm -hmm. all the films, but they clearly see YouTube content as a future yeah. and as a, a new form of media. And those guys are jumping right on board, and I think that's great. So that's Ruby. You know, YouTube original uh, animation. Now let's move to something that um, some people watching might be more familiar with. Oh, you mean? Oh, oh. <laughs> which one? Which one? I don't know. Uh, Robocop. Okay, so check oh. this out. Basically. So no one of our viewers know what Robocop is, by the way. Are you kidding me? This movie came out just like a few. Uh, what was it a year ago? Nobody saw it. Was here. Yeah. The Robocop re-release is divisive with fans. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. Mm -hmm. I personally, you know, Robocop was the first rated R movie I ever saw. Uh -huh. I like the new film. Yeah. I think um, if I could have changed just one thing, I would have had it be a continuation of the original storyline rather than a reboot using Alex Murphy. I would say that it, you know, I would set the movie taking place 30 years after the first trilogy. I think okay. that would have been more interesting, like they're doing with Terminator. Yeah. But I really like the Robocop design. I like all I of too. the tech and the gear in the new film. I thought they were really smart updates of that yeah. sort of classic character. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the only problem that I had with the movie is that Detroit didn't look that bad. Like, they didn't need all this <laughs> mechanized, uh, It was you a know. perfectly pleasant yeah. place to live. Like, <laughs> hey, nope, Johnny. <laughs> no blight whatsoever. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? Oh, no, my car exploded. Now, so, you know, like, like you said, the designs are great. You know, yeah. the Robocop mm -hmm. suit I love. And then you have this guy. That's right, the EM. 208 military enforcement robot. Yeah, so there was, and actually, yeah. this pops off and he lights up. Oh, LED. Yeah. Now, you know, if you're watching Robocop, you know, and Robocop is a star, and in the first original, he goes head to head with Ed 209, but then there are also these guys in addition to Ed 209. That's right. Yeah. You know, this also kind of reminds me a little bit of the failed prototype in Robotop, Robocop 2. Okay. You know, when he lifts yeah, his he mask falls. off. Yeah. It, it kind of has a little bit of a nod to, to that design. Yeah. Um, but I really like it. And they have, uh, you know, they're covering all the bases. And I think actually the Robocop 3.0 should be on available on their website right about now. Uh, okay. They're also making an enormous ED-209. Um, they're going to cover everything. Yeah. You know, again, the, the, the movie is worth seeing if you are interested in Robocop. Uh, these guys are awesome. There's a huge fight between uh, Robocop and a ton of these drones. The whole thing about the movies is that like having a human brain operating the machines versus having just straight robots. And you can definitely check out that uh, fight. It's really, really worth watching. Yeah, Cade's marveling at the pop-out mm -hmm. uh, handguns, Gun which are really amazing. And the fact that 3-0 were able to recreate the mechanism and they actually yeah. pop out spring-loaded into mm -hmm. the hands. Into the hands, yes. It's Pretty amazing. cool, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the next movie. This guy is in uh, Age of Ultron, so should be pretty good. Age of Voltron? <laughs> yeah, Age of Ultron. Agent Asian Voltron? Agent Voltron, yeah. Cool, Robocop. Tons of moving gears, awesome paint deco, mm -hmm. light up feature. What more do you want? Why do you keep needing more? You're yeah. very needy. Very needy. Dead ass though, right? Yeah, I just say actually just between uh, the new one and the old design, it has like the same ankles. Mm. Yeah, they they were very smart about taking you know, a lot of the uh, the familiar gears and mechanisms and kind of integrating them into this new uh, film. 
Yeah. But so this is all robot though, right? There's Correct. no human. No human. But RoboCop is half human, half robot. Yeah. And he's a little less than half human. Okay, but he's <laughs> part human. He's part, part yeah. human. The the whole thing about the movie is that like Michael Keaton, who's in it, uh, he basically can't, uh, you know, uh, market you know robots on the street. Mm. They need a, a friendly face. Yeah, and mm. that's where uh, so they do a whole planning thing. Oh, also, you know, one more thing I would have changed about the uh, the new movie. I would have had Alex's Alex Murphy's face be a little more grotesque. You know, there was a great Frankenstein sort of vibe yeah. to the original film, and in this one, his face is kind of pristine. He still has his eyebrows, and it just doesn't evoke that sort of abject feeling. Yeah, it almost looks like a guy in a suit, like versus like in RoboCop, you kind of felt like he was part of the suit. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't there anymore. Yeah. No, but it, also just like the effects were pretty good where it's just like literally they take him apart. That and... that was such a great gross yeah. out scene. They really, I mean, there are a lot of great moments. G- moments in that film. It's totally worth watching. I you know, it gets a lot of hate, but uh, mm. I stand by it. I like that film. Gary Oldman's in it, Mike Keaton's in it, the Joel Kinnaman. Yep. So that's RoboCop and uh, Three Zero. So what is the the best for last? We always say the best. That's for last. right, the best for last. We have knives. Oh, you can uh, take them out in the wilderness and oh, you can bring them on set right now. Not only oh, this is this is not a real guest. <laughs> that's a toy. We've got a Titan from Titanfall right here. This, this guy is a beast. This is just the most amazing thing they've ever, ever manufactured. Now I have. All of the real steel figures that they made, and those mm-hmm. things are great, and they are engineering marvels. This takes it to a whole nother level. Right. It is unbelievable. And the fact that it not only seats a pilot in here, mm-hmm. but that it lights up both blue and red. Come on, what more do you want? How do you change, Manja, how do you change it to blue? Well, how do you change? Oh, I see. Oh, blue and red, that is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just holding this thing, I feel very overwhelmed because I just want to, like, start lifting flaps and, like, moving yes. his arms and seeing what's going on everywhere. Uh, but he is so amazing. Very, very cool. And I love the fact that he comes with a little guy that you can put in there to uh, kind of operate it, right? Yeah. Titanfall is... Uh, I'm obsessed with that game. It is awesome. It is really... Everything that you want in a next generation video game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially for every anyone that has an Xbox One, you know, people love this game. I bought Xbox One just to play Titanfall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a, a great uh, mech game. You know, mech fighting game. Like all I had, you know, growing up was like PlayStation. You know, armored armored core. Yeah, and yeah, I and, remember that game. and also just like uh, various Gundam games. But this brings it to a whole new level. Not only does the pilot I have guns, but that the mech has guns as well. Like yeah. that's. And this is this. I mean, this could fit in a child's hand. This is amazing. Yeah, it really could. Um, it's it's pretty incredible. And like they put all these like step ladders just like the game because you know whenever someone's piloting piloting a Titan and you want to like jack it from them or you want to hop up on the Titan and kill them and stuff like that, uh, you can kind of get that. Yeah, but let's just even talk about the pilot. Like even though he's a smaller scale. All these pieces, you know, like even this, like you know, mm-hmm. uh, 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 like bracelet. Uh, I just want to say, you know, that's once you take your hand off, you can uh, take that off. You know, this real cloth, a lot of nice soft, like rubberized, like pieces. This scarf is like is real, and just the overall design from the game, perfect translation, absolutely from game to toy. Perfect, no question about yes. it. Um, this thing's a beauty. I, I really have no room left in my apartment, and mm. I need to. I Kick your to... girlfriend out so she yeah. he can sleep next to you. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the pilot is so amazing. What I like about him is that, you know, he could easily be sold alone by himself, you no, know? No, but you can get him together, right? Well, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying he easily... But um, oh. this one comes bundled with the one twelfth scale, so it's about six inches tall. Well, so that's what I'm saying, though. They could sell that six inch tall, uh, ver- this version, alone, and people would buy it. Because it's that incredible. I would buy anything for zero. Look, this gun. The, uh, <laughs> the pilot's gun actually goes to the Titan. He just kind of. That makes sense. And then he holds the that one. Yeah. Okay. No, it, it's incredible. Like, you, uh, for you, those of you watching at home, just I wish we could show you just literally I everything. wish you were here next to yeah. us. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it really is so much different in person. Literally every single piece is movable. Every single piece has yep. like a some, paint deco. Yeah, and you know it has this weathered battle damage look as 30 is so good at doing. Yep. You know, uh, you know, and the RoboCop figure as well. It has the the battle damage weathered armor look. And it 
it's so great. You know, fans of the, of the game, even if you never played the game before, you can totally appreciate this. Yeah. Real rubber hoses. Yeah, real yeah. rubber hoses. They're they're so <laughs> sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, I would argue that this might be the most detailed figure we've ever featured on the show. I think so. I, I definitely give them that award. So now that, uh, you know, uh, the holiday is around the corner, are you going to pick up an Xbox One and pick up Titanfall? I mean, Titanfall, Master Chief Collection, it's very tempting, right? Yeah. But no, I have a Wii U, so I just play Smash. That's it. Yeah. He almost reminds me of Voton, but again, like, Voton is kind of flat. You know, mm -hmm. right. color. It's a little bit like more this is matte and smooth. Yeah. Well, you know, this further proves our point in the biggest failing of Pacific Rim was their awkward piloting system. You know, to me, the really fun part of mechs is being in this tiny cramped cockpit like a fighter jet. Right. Yeah. And that's the beauty of Titanfall. It takes that reality, mm -hmm. you know, and it puts you in it. Yeah. And uh, you don't need to be in skin tight spandex and, you know, be up in a gyroscope right, yeah. with your your twin brother in order to control a robot or female interests. <laughs> cool. Well, so um, yeah, this is this is really really incredible and uh, you know kind of an honor just to have it on the show. You know what I mean? Uh, Three Zero is very kind to us and uh, we like them and they like us. Yeah. I don't know. Links in the description below and uh, a lot of these toys are available for pre-order plus more. More toys that uh, we, we didn't feature today. You should definitely <laughs> keep 3-0 on your radar, especially if you are a toy collector. Like I said, 2015 is going to be 3-0's year to shine. Pay close attention. Buy the stuff they got coming out. This, By the way, the secondary market on their items goes through the roof. It is insane mm -hmm. how much some of their early stuff is going for now. Not yeah. that we're endorsing, you know, reselling, but, you know... Well, there's a reason for it, you know. Yeah. There's a reason why things get marked up high. There's a reason. Yeah. Um, so, where can people go to actually physically buy this stuff? Is it all online? That's your best bet. Go right to their web store and pre-order or purchase. Okay. So, there's none of this is really sold in stores? Well, there's uh, there's finer specialty retailers that carry it. Toy Tokyo has a, a bunch of their items. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, I, I'm of the old school. I go right to the manufacturer's website. That's Absolutely. where I want to buy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I had knocked on the factory door and I just uh, taken off the assembly line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, you sneak in there because you are one of them. They can't tell. But then I get in trouble because I took too much time on my lunch break. So, uh, 3-0's got a wide range of products, they have their web store you can check out, uh, is there any, like, recommendations, like, hey, maybe you should check out this one item if you're just now getting into the oh, realm of 3 Dead Space, Isaac Clarke is coming out soon, that's mm -hmm. gonna be a great figure. They have, uh, really awesome armless zombies from Walking Dead okay. that are Very already, cool. have already shipped. Mm -hmm. Um, there's so much. There's something for everybody, really. Great. Yeah. So stop being cheap this year. And buy the very best. That's well, right. At least for the holidays, get your mom to buy you this bad boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want Jesus to cry. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No way. Uh, so cool. Thank you, Three Zero, for being very cool and and having awesome product that we could feature. Yeah, we were really excited to share our Three Zero episode with you guys. And uh, these are just—they're so sick. I mean, you just have to see them in person. So, but you can't buy it. unless you buy it. So. Or if you come over, we'll, yeah, we'll come give over. you milk and cookies. So you can play with this. Yeah. Um, one more thing. If you want to see more 3.0 and possibly some 3A coverage, let us know in the comments. We're going to share all the great feedback we get with these yeah. guys. Yeah. Show 3.0 your support. Like Toy Pizza. Show us your pics. Be nice to your sister. Uh, yeah. And you won't get coal in your stocking. Maybe we'll get some 3.0 action. That's right. Let's do some question and answers from you guys. Let's take it away. Boop, 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 boop. It's time for some Q&As. What do you got? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first question is from Johnny Burkle. Uh, very cool guy. We Not see that lot, cool. Well, we see a lot of stuff from him online. Uh, which franchise, other than the ones they already do, would you want SH Figure Arts to come out with? <laughs> I want to see Dragon Ball Z toys. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. So we're talking to Mashi. Uh-huh. We're talking a little figure arts. Uh-huh. Have I already said Snake from Metal Gear? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, no, I was thinking about this the other day. Uh... How about classic Tron? Okay, I can do I that. Can see clear that? plastic pieces. Uh, not yes, okay. against it. Uh, Skin tight, you know, yeah, yeah. suits, body suits. Um, Daft Punk would be cool. Hot pieces. <laughs> well, um, you know, I took their survey at Comic Con at New York. And, oh, uh, I did too. And, took, and I remember what I wrote. wrote Castlevania. Castlevania. Okay, okay. that's one, right? There yeah. you go. 
Um, I checked the box that said Adventure Time because I think that would be cool. Mm -hmm. And I checked um, more Naruto because they have Naruto um, mm -hmm. and now they have Sasuke coming. I think there's a whole cast that they can do just like they're doing with DBZ. Yeah, they do great with uh, anime. They do great with like Sentai, you know, uh, suited people. Sure. But I would, I want to see some Street Fighter. I want to see what that would look like you know, on that scale. Well, they did do Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury, Final Fury. Fury? Oh, fight? Terry, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's uh, yeah. Final Fight? Fight? Final Fur Fight? Fantas final Fantasy Fight? Final Four Fantasy? Fantasy Four Star? Day. One Fire. of those games. Um, well, I, I you, you were joking, but like, I would love to see it. I mean, they're not like specific characters. Fantasy Star Online? Uh, that would be amazing. That, those character designs are yeah, awesome. They're so good. Fantasy uh -huh. Star Online. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's great. Uh, How about uh, Samurai Showdown? Like uh, Jen Ann uh, and I oh, was a huge uh, fan of I have really Metal Slug. Okay. Metal Slug. Would you like Metal it? Slug. They're, really good. They're a little too chibi, but you no. know. Okay. Contra. Okay. No. no. Um okay, moving on. Um let's see. AugieCon twelve asks, What was your very first toy you remember getting on Christmas? I was raised Jehovah's Witness, so nothing. Okay. Wait, what was it, the the first one I remember getting? The very first toy you remember getting on Christmas. Okay. So uh, I accidentally went to a closet that had Santa's uh, <laughs> presents, and it was the uh, Power Rangers uh, pig, the what, the Roman oh. helmet that ate the Rangers. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get that for Christmas. Professor Baconborg. Yes. Oh man. Is that true? No. no. Uh, uh, for me, it was uh, walking into the living room and realizing Santa had just come and and stopped and dropped by some pre presents. And I saw a 12-inch uh, Venom Sofubi, and I was terrified uh, of it. I don't want that. I just started crying. But I, like, I think I have the Magneto from that line, right? I had the Wolverine. Cool. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're incredible, and I am so yeah. happy that I have it now, but yeah. I just was crying because I was so scared. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. We didn't celebrate Christmas. Furby, I had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't. No holidays. Um, all right, so this one is interesting. Uh, C. Miller NY asks, will you be decorating Jesse's beard for the holidays? It has become a trend, mm -hmm. this beard augmentation with uh, garland right. and mm -hmm. lights. Yeah. Um, I say no because it's decorated with soup and crumbs. Anyway, naturally. What would yeah. you put at the top of your beard? A star? A tiny angel? A tiny angel. Okay, sounds good. Um, all right, so you guys want to take one more? Let's do one Let's more. do one more. Okay, so here we go. Uh, how about this one? What toy, from Mark Zumi, what toy, if you could only pick one, mm. would you like to be buried with? Oh, wow. Pretty dark. I don't mind. Huh? A knife. <laughs> it's not a toy. How about uh, a toy that, um, you know, is has a projectile that can pierce wood so I can get out of there? <laughs> oh, I just think you're being buried alive. You're uh, assuming you're being buried yeah, alive. Yeah, I didn't assume I was dying with. Um, that's an interesting question. I mean, Very I, tough. I mean, I don't I'm going to go with Titanfall. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bigger coffin. It's just literally just like it's yeah. like as if you had a motorcycle. They're, they're with a trying pod. to push down yeah. the lid. And it won't go. <laughs> or like literally like like a, a pod for like an extension for a motorcycle. It's like yeah. it's just like a coffin, but it's just like an extra block piece for your uh, for the atlas. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, I would want to be you know buried with something like creative. Not maybe not something that I love so much, but like. Maybe like a Hot Wheels track that kind of goes around my whole coffin. Yeah. Like I think that would be pretty cool. Or your coffin goes down a Hot Wheels track. Or your that coffin would be cool. is just made out of Legos. That would be pretty cool. There you go. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah. So who's going to come to your funeral? <laughs> Let us oh, know in the comments. Dark term. Yeah. Uh, no, but seriously, thank you so much for uh, sending in all the questions. Um, and we provide the answers. And guys, this is kind of a goodbye for 2014, right? It this is, is our send-off. However, there will be lots of little videos for the rest of the month of December. That's, That's right. right. We're going to give you some new toys and some new shows, and we're going to uh, show you some more toys throughout the year. And when we get to 2015, not only do we have a uh, little nice the slice coming. Oh, we got a lot of surprise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, from our last episode of Tamashi Buddies, you might have noticed that the episode is a little shorter. That doesn't mean that we won't be doing these kind of episodes. We will still be doing them every now and then. That's right. Yeah. We're gonna be very beefing. convoluted. Yeah, we're gonna be beefing everything up in 2015 uh, because we're gonna be changing the name to Toy Hamburgers. That's uh, right. Yeah, so hamburgers are just uh, grass know. fed. Yeah, grass fed, Angus. very organic. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, I think it's time to wrap up. Yeah. So hashtag Toy Pizza and show us on Instagram. What the heck did you get for Christmas? What did you get for Hanukkah? I was on my phone. Okay. It's okay. What did Santa bring you? Use uh, hashtag Toy Pizza and let us know. What did Krumpus bring you? We'll feature it on the show. Three zero. Check them out. <laughs>